All right, and we're here at the Pennsylvania Convention Center for the uh, Pokemon VGC Regional Tournament. That's, uh, and today is October 14th, so today's definitely the day for that. And we're about to get into sign up for the uh, Masters Division here. So I'm gonna try to find a place, you know, where uh, this is all happening. But here we are at the Penn Convention Center. And take a look inside of there. So quiet here, but uh, we're now looking for the area where we can play at the regional tournament for Pokemon. So, we're going to go on a little search here. Like, everything is closed this morning. I guess uh, came here pretty early, but I would have expected at least some places to be open by like 10 o'clock. Since right now it's around that time. Oh, here it is. It says Pokemon, Welcome Pokemon Regionals. I'm not sure this is the entrance, but uh, actually, there's a door open, so let's take a look. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be that many people here, though, if that's the case. Uh, yeah. Just some plants uh, ready to register for the tournament, I'm sure. <laughs> Wrong room, unfortunately, but let's continue on. Unconventional gifts. Or at least that's what I thought it said for a second. Luckily, I'm already signed in. Swapping down biology to so that I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I Not very quick on the ultra. I don't think we should do that. Ah, no. So no uh, R4ing here, I guess? Yeah, they don't give a damn if this stuff. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, you can see, I guess people are already battling here. Oh, not yet. And we can register. Okay, to enter the And we're gonna register in a few minutes. And yeah, so attendance is fairly mediocre. Okay, you're just sitting there. I don't know. At least they have some kind of a turnout. Well, there's a Gallade over there. I guess they'll post the Masters Division there or something.
Junior and he is missing. Oh, he's not missing anymore. Wonderful. Okay. Juniors, juniors and seniors, we want to welcome you to the video game event. You will, you, the place where your player roster was posted, that is where your pairings will be each time. Just if some of you have never played in a tournament before, first thing, even if you lose everything, you still get one of these nice guys in the red, red shirts come over to help you. You will bring, when you are done your match, you will bring your match slip up front to where I'm standing. There's computers here. There's a place where they will, it's a, a match box that says juniors on it. You put juniors, put their slips in there. Seniors, there's one that says. And masters will be posted shortly, the Masters Division listing for um, matchups and, you know, a round one opponents pretty much will be posted in, I guess, about five to ten minutes. And juniors and seniors are still currently playing, or I guess they're top 16s or whatever. I don't know how far they're in, but it looks like they have a while to go, so uh, Masters might kind of start later on, but, oh, we'll see what happens. Um, I did hear that top eight actually has the best out of three or single elimination. Not really sure, but um, things are a little bit different this time. So uh, let's just hope for the best. Let's see what happens. I'm seeing a bomber stone and a heat trap here. I'm trying to zoom into one of the battles. Kind of blocking the view. Oh, look at the frost last. Wow. Guy just sent in an Amoongus. If, if you're a master, you need to have registered. You filled out a registration form, a yellow form, and you need to have gone to the oh, battle box table, Lady which is in the corner here. Let me try to get in there. In the battle box table, they give you your two of the, uh, I think this is one of the junior, junior, junior matches. You can't play with this seems fairly competitive. And a frozen so heat trend. But yeah, so things seem a little bit competitive over here. Um, yeah, Amoongus going for a Rage Powder. And Shadow Ball barely did anything to Amoongus over there. I kind of wonder why. Even though Amoongus is a very bulky Pokemon. And opponent's going to go for a Wood Hammer. Not going to do too much damage. But oh boy. Wait, why am I narrating someone else's battle? <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a little bit of a time before the Masters uh, begin. I mean, most of us are already signed up. They just pretty much gave the last call for everybody else that needs to sign up to uh, do so. But, yeah, so it's just, just kind of bored. I want to watch a match on someone's screen. So, kind of looks hopeless for that heat trend, but I mean, the point doesn't really seem to know what he's, I mean he's a junior, but, um, I don't know, I guess if he can figure it out, figure his way out quickly, he'll blizzard them both to death pretty much, essentially, as he trend might be hopeless, so, God, I always hate that free tag thing, <laughs> here comes a double blizzard, I think. But yeah, Amoongus is gonna take that. Look at that. Amoongus took like a beast. Damn. Amoongus got frozen too! I just saw that. Look at that. Both of them frozen. That's some serious hacks. Oh my god. And a uh, citrus berry to restore its health. Unfortunately, Amoongus can't move. Neither can he try. So both are frozen. Looks like that's the game for both of them. Oh, that's GG for Amoongus. And Amoongus is going down. So I guess all the opponent here has is a frozen heat train. And that's it? Don't know if that's his last Pokemon. Here lies the Machamp. Oh, 
Tranitar. Wait, is that, does it say Master? Or is it Senior? I think the Master section might be like over at the corner. Probably right by the Braviary here. I think, not sure. Okay. I think they, yeah, these are the first table. I don't think it is actually in my name. Yeah, it's not in the first table. It looks like Paris. And let me just three. All right. Pretty big one. The rest of the area you can sit anywhere in the middle section. I'm seven, 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 six, 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 so, I don't know. Unfortunately, that's the case. So, I guess I'll show you guys like a random match I had like later on. So, we'll see. But as far as round one goes, victory is mine. Some funny faces over here with hip lups. People been uh, drawing on the papers. <laughs> Some funny. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't want to know what that is on the bottom there. But <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, wonder who drew that cane. Pretty nice. Yeah. Boogerish and pip luck sad. I don't know, people bored. Throwing random funny faces. Oh, and uh, round eight is about to begin soon. Um, I'm doing okay. I mean, I lost two matches. But I'm kind of hanging in there. Hopefully, I can manage to uh, make the 6-2. Six, six and a fair enough ranking to get some Pokemon play points or whatever, um, whatnots, other goodies. But uh, so far, the top players have gotten uh, some goodies, so that's uh, nice. Unfortunately, didn't I didn't get anything special myself, but uh, since uh, I didn't make the um, top cut so far, I don't think. But um, well, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get a, a fair enough ranking to make like top 16 or something, which is. Okay, feet. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. And here are the top eight. One into round nine. And the final ranking. Oh, that was good. Thank you. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, I'd like to get into it. I'd like to get into it. Wait, what? What? Do I get in here? Get down. Show us the back up. Are you ready? One more. So, back from the VGCs, and I got one of these uh, Jolteon TCG cards for just for entering the tournament. So, it's kind of like a constellation prize. So, even though I didn't do so well today, I uh, still got like a Jolteon card. So, cool. Kind of like a memory of the Pokemon VGC. Well, it actually says TCG Champions Regional on it, but eh, it's still pretty cool. Kind of like a commemoration card for uh, entering. So, yeah. So those of you that enter the VGC regionals at Philadelphia at least should have a Jolteon TCG card. So, yep. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a little uh, gist of what happened during the tournament in a minute here. And uh, all my opponents that faced. So, enjoy. Alright, so I'm back from the VGCs now, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned before, but um, did alright. I mean, not as good as I expected to do. I mean, 
okay, I did pretty bad, but, um, I mean, not, like, horrible bad, but just, you know, I kind of played stupidly today, so I definitely could have did a lot better in 19th place, but, um, all in all, I'll show you guys my ranking, even though, let me see, where is it, battle competition? Even though most of you guys know I basically got a 6-2, but, uh, what happened is my round 1 opponent got disqualified, so it's actually, like, a 5-2 or something like that, so we're gonna check this out here, let's see, participate, where is my rank, oh, should be in the bottom there, so... Here, as you can see, it's actually a 5-2, but in reality, my real score was a 6-2. But the thing is, um, with the scoring is when if your opponent gets disqualified, like in round one or whatever, uh, it doesn't count on your win-loss section, unfortunately, since uh, they never actually got to enter battle with you, since they just disqualify them before even entering battle. So basically, in reality, this would be a 6-2, but they didn't count the uh, disqualification of my opponent in round one. So I mean, all in all, I did a, <clears throat> I did pretty good. Uh, the only problem is, I mean, the only people I beat were basically a more experienced player, and out of stupidity, I don't know how, I ended up losing to um, two sort of newbie or I mean lesser, um, lesser skilled double battle. I mean, I I hate to call people noobs, but you know, just kind of the team leading was just so weird. But I mean, it just kind of made me over predict so many things and I just ended up losing those matches out of um, stupidity I don't I don't know what the heck happened but um I'll show you guys my uh, team sheets and also the teams of those people that I face so yeah and also I will be uploading uh, some of the battles that I was actually able to save during the tournament as I was recording uh, the most matches as I could before my battery ran out on the camera actually not a battery but I didn't have enough Recording time, so I saved like the best matches there. Well, the better ones anyway, so for you guys to check out, and I'll be uploading them whenever I can. Alright, so be sure to enjoy those, and now I'll show you guys my opponents here. So let's see, I just shut that off there, and as you can see, my first opponent was supposed to be Alex Valente. I don't know how many of you guys know him, but he's a smogner, I believe, a pretty. Um, famous uh, smogner that goes to VGCs I don't I don't remember which ones he attended but apparently he had a pretty uh, high ranking at some of the VGCs uh, gotta check that out but anyways I was supposed to face him in round one but the thing is he had like a hacked uh, no, it wasn't a hacked scissor but the thing is he had a scissor that had bug bite that was move tutored in uh, black 2 white 2 I don't know how that happened or what happened with that case but it was just kind of stupid and I honestly he really shouldn't have been disqualified for something as um, you know like trivial as that but I mean that's what happened he got disqualified was disqualified um, based on a scissor learning bug bite as some move tutor or level up move that it probably couldn't have learned um, at such a level in black one, white one, even though it could have, I'm sure could have learned it in fourth gen anyway, so just, just really trivial. The same thing happened to this other guy's Gastrodon, so it was just kind of stupid, I mean, the rules overall were just, I don't know what the heck was going on, I mean, they just DQ'd people out of having, um, weird movesets, uh, that were move tutored from fifth gen or whatever, or like having a Charizard with, uh, Heatwave tutored in fifth gen or, Things like that instead of 4th gen tutored. Um, I don't know. Just really stupid. Like overall. Um, things are a little. Like haywired in torment because of that. And I mean yeah. The rule was generally no. Uh, black 2, white 2 move tutor moves. Or Pokemon that you couldn't get. There pretty much. So pretty much no new move tutor moves. And you can only use black 1, white 1 for the tournament. So alright. So that's. Yeah, that's what happened in round one. So I didn't have a battle. And as you saw before, that's why my ranking was a 5-2 and not a 6-2. As there really were eight rounds. Um, Alright, so let's get to the sort of war story here, I guess. So my next opponent I end up facing is Evan Latz. Um, I, he's, a lot, he's another small gunner. I don't know his account's name, unfortunately. But um, I believe he said he was from the Smogon server. So anyways... With his team, uh, he had six Pokemon here, of course. Heatran, Metagross, and everything else in the team sheet. The ones that he used were 
uh, let's see, the ones that I have crossed off, that was Heatran, Metagross, Gastrodon, and Thunderous, and I actually have, this is one of the battles I have saved, so be sure to upload that one, um, this one was actually pretty weird, I mean, it kind of seemed like my team threw him off, so I was able to, um, uh, fortunately was able to take down his team fairly quickly, or it wasn't as, uh, difficult as I expected it to be, it was, um, I was kind of worried about the Gastrodon, but fortunately he didn't do certain moves that I expected him to do at certain times, so, I don't, I mean, I was expecting certain things, so I was prepared on the other hand, but at the same time it wasn't as much of a worry since, I guess he overpredicted a bit in that match, so it was, I think it ended like in a 2-0, it was somewhat close, because I remember my Aaron getting burned in that battle from a heat wave or something, I don't remember what it was, um, oh it was Scald actually that burned it, so, <laughs> it was one turn less of a berry juice boost, so it was kind of funny there, um, so yeah, I won my round 2 match, and... Over there, I realized after the round two, I was a little funky as to my strategy, so I decided to go straight forward in uh, round three. And here's the funny thing is on Wi-Fi, I actually faced people that were actually scared of the Aaron strategy. So it was like, people just didn't protect. It was like, you know, I just played according to the general strategy, you know, just set up trick room, um, have hit on top, fake out, it gets hit, switch out with eject button, but, I mean, you guys will see the strategy in some of my videos, but, I mean, generally, I just, like, follow the straightforward strategy, and that's actually what cost me the match in round three, is, um, well, I guess I could say stupidity, I mean, stupidity towards the end, because I still could have won the battle in, uh, round three, so, yeah, round two, obviously, I won, and this one I lost in round three, uh, I'll show you guys the battle, later um i guess i'll upload it on a different day i'll be uploading i have round two round three i have uh round five six and eight i think saved yeah so it's a total of like five battles and an extra battle that i believe i have saved because of my round one disqualification opponent i guess all right so i guess i saved the better ones and you know one loss just so i you know Obviously, it doesn't look like I had all victories, which I didn't, obviously, because I had, you know, came a 6-2. So, it wasn't, like, a perfect A, because otherwise, I would have got that trip, wouldn't I? Okay, so, anyways, uh, uh, Philip Matthews, that was my round 3 opponent. He actually leads with a somewhat generic uh, Swampert Zapdos lead. I didn't really expect people to go that generically, but he does the generic thing. Um, I thought he might lead Zapdos, Garchomp, wasn't sure. But he does lead a uh, Swampert Zapdos, and I end up faking out Zapdos. He does predict that. I go for the fake outs on Zapdos, and he protects, so that's failed. And I set up Trick Room with uh, Jellicent, so... I mean, I know this is, like, early narration, but... Anyways, the thing that cost me the loss is his Conco, they're coming in, and I just got really, like, greedy, and I end up, like, protecting... I mean, he ends up protecting, and for some reason, I just decided to attack the Conkodor out of, you know, stupidity, because like I said, people on Wi-Fi just didn't tend to, um, protect or anything, they were just, I mean, I don't know if it was some kind of a, like, pseudo, like, pseudo thing going on to try to make me, like, over-predict during an actual tournament, or, I don't know what, but, <laughs> it just weren't playing... Either that or it was just that I played mostly Japanese people and they just didn't, I don't know why they didn't know what to do or it just didn't help because they didn't give me the practice that I really needed for the tournament and I mean, you know, I just didn't really have as much time, although it's, I mean, um, shouldn't really be making excuses that because I know people like work their teams like seriously for a whole year or even beyond. So there's a lot of people that really work hard on their teams. Um, so yeah, kudos to those people, and this year, I just wish I had more time for practice. Um, so, yeah, I just, like, ended up losing to, I guess, his Metagross in the end. That was, round three was a close match, but I just feel that it was, you know, stupid the way I lost it. I mean, it was a hacks loss in the end, but it didn't matter. Like, seriously, I mean, at most, I could have set up a trick room in the end, but I mean... Out of stupidity, he just deserved to win because I played stupidly. That's all I can say. But, you know, had I been in my right mind, I really should have won that match. Round three. Um, so, round four was just really weird. It was like I expected a different lead. And he actually leads with, I think, Thunderous and Garchomp. I, in that battle, I just totally got wrecked. Um, I ended up taking Thunderous thanks to Aaron. But that was it since... 
basically it wasn't that i wasn't prepared for guard shop it was more or less that i was um really worried about amongus because i realized my team had didn't really have much for it so i just wanted to kind of counter lead and i was used to a common counter lead um that i came up with but it just really i don't know why i took my eyes off a of guard champ it was just stupid and i'm getting swept in that match because of that so uh, <laughs> i can only blame myself for that one and for not sending out hip on top so i guess i should have like trusted my instincts there and I don't know, I guess that just cost me a loss in round 4. So, round 5 was a pretty fun match, actually. Uh, he, this guy, I think I have this battle saved. This was actually one of my semi-favorites. And I really could have lost this match. But the thing is, um, what happened in this one? I'm trying to remember. I think I actually did um, a fake out, or he did a fake out on my Hitmontop. But his Hitmontop turned out to be faster, so it was just not fortunate and i believe i actually switched out um jellicent because i didn't want to take i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to take a boosted uh shadow ball so i thought he had that uh ghost gem shadow ball for some reason which he didn't he actually had life warp shadow ball which um could have killed my jellicent but uh well i'll just leave that to the battle so anyways um that was there was a lot of predictions in this battle and i ended up winning this uh two one but i think it was just really close so that's that was one of my favorites uh then we have my opponent around six who was daniel lang who i faced and i think i foiled him somehow i i don't know the tre team was a little weird but it didn't look like i had too much uh sync going on there so yeah it wasn't as hard as a uh, team to take out i guess this video is going to be a bit long so uh, sorry about that <laughs> So just two more battles here to go. Um, like I said, I'll be uploading battles two, three. Um, three might not be as good um, for those of you competitive players, but uh, I guess um, kind of a lesson to you guys: just don't under predict and don't over predict when it's too late in the battle. So it's just I don't. Know, I felt like I was in drugs on uh, round three there. I don't know what happened. Okay, so moving on, we have round seven against Ethan Buck who I uh, faced, he led with a, I don't know what he led with, but his team was Thunderous, Tyranitar, Heatran, and Virizion. I, like, wait, Virizion? Yeah, Virizion. So I, like, won that battle somehow. I think I survived the Leaf Blade, got a Trick Room up, and Aaron did a lot of work, and he was, like, so tight about the Berry Juice. <laughs> he was just like, ah, oh, I hate that Berry Juice Aaron. So, like, I don't know. A lot of people like the, the new Aaron stuffs, and some people hated it. I mean, I don't know. I actually did see some Japanese running um, berry juice recently, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, like, <laughs> I don't know who came up with it first. It probably, maybe it was a Japanese, but, uh, anyways, my final opponent, who was uh, Michael Lanzano, who is actually Jai VGC from uh, Smogon, so he was on some of the several, several of the uh, random Wi-Fi tournaments that happened in the past few months and participated in them and i actually battled him once or twice i think i got four old the first time and the second time i may have lost barely one zero but this time i faced him in the tournament uh, i know i didn't write it down here but i have the actual battle saved also so i will be i mean unless i lose the battle <laughs> but uh i should be uploading that that'll be my last one to upload from the vgc section um so yeah as you can see he has a, his team is consists of rod and wash Metagross, Cresselia, and Garchomp, and in that battle, he actually leads with Rod and Wash and Cresselia, and, like, crazy things happen, like, it was just a pretty crazy, somewhat haxy battle, actually, it was, a, it was a really haxy battle, so that kind of ended in my favor, but it was, <laughs> it was kind of fun, I liked the, I really liked that battle, too, so, I have to say, uh, battle from round 8, and my round, which round was it? Oh, oh yeah, round five. Round five and round eight were actually my favorite battles. There we go, because they were just really close. Um, and, you know, had the weirdest hacks and uh, slash predictions that just uh, kind of turned the game around. So I just liked those. Those are my favorite battles. And I'll upload those and some others. And you guys can feel free to let me know what your uh, favorites are as well. 
All right, so sorry this took like 15 minutes, but uh, I'm going to close here. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed, and yeah, definitely thanks for watching, and I will be having plenty more footage in future VGCs if I can record. I know I do a lot of better in tournaments when I don't record, but um, I do like to give you guys a footage, so um, I do kind of want to keep that going. I mean, if not, I could always probably get someone else to record for me while I focus more on the battles, because... I don't know, sometimes I get a little under-focused when I'm recording around, because I just, like, I really want to get the, the footage on uh, YouTube and all the battles, you know, it's always exciting saving all those battles, and, you know, it's definitely a lot of fun, you know, so, yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I will be having plenty more coming soon, and I might have, like, a little Halloween special, I'm not sure if it's going to be a battle, but it's going to be a little surprise section, so, uh, and of course, uh, black to white to related, so stay tuned for that. And I was thinking of doing some kind of a weird event on the 31st also. So if I can, I'll probably make a video on that and plenty more. So, yep, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. Stay tuned for more. Alrighty. Peace, and uh, if I don't get back to you guys by then, happy Halloween soon to come.